What we're going to be looking at here is a revision and depreciation rate. It's going to be a change here in estimate. And we're going to be looking at this example where we have this original building and it has an addition added to it 10 years later. So for example here we're going to have a building that was constructed here in 1984 and it's going to have an addition added to it here to the building here in 1994 10 years later. So what do we have to do for this here is we have to calculate our original depreciation rate for both our building here and our addition. So for our building here we had a, a cost of three million eight hundred thousand and originally estimated here a life of forty years salvage value hundred twenty thousand and then uh, where we're going to come in with this change here in estimate here is it's going to we're going to be revised here in 2012 or 28 years later we're going to change the estimated life from 40 years that we originally estimated at up to uh, the new estimated life here of 60 years and the same for our addition here we're going to have let's just look at that we're going to have a cost here of nine hundred forty thousand original estimate estimated life of 30 years, salvage value of 40,000. And then we, in again, in 2012, same case here, we revised its uh, estimated life here. This was 18 years later here. We revised it from 30 years here up to 50 years here. So what we have to do is we have to calculate our, our depreciation here based on the um, original building here, our building and our original our addition here that we made. So for our building, uh, we would just, and then we're going to be using just the straight line method here for our depreciation rate. So we take our cost minus our salvage divided by our life, or in this case the cost here, 3.8 million for the building, less its salvage, 120,000 divided by its original life here, 40 years going to give us $92,000 per year here for our depreciation. And that's for this first 28 years here. And uh, that, again, is based on our original estimate here, 40 years. And then for our building addition, same case here. Cost, 940000 less salvage value of 40000 divided by the original estimated life of 30 years here gives us $30,000 per year here. And that's its original basis here that we calculated. Now for our, we're going to look at our revised annual depreciation on this building. So what we have to do is we have to determine its carrying value here at the time of this revision, our revised estimate here in its life, and that's based here on year 2012. So again, we take our book value, uh, that's really our original cost here of 3.8 million, less the accumulated depreciation to date here, and again, this is for our building, and that was, uh, remember, we had $92,000 per year here on our original building here, uh, depreciation times the 28 years here. This was 28 years. We took that for 28 years here, and that's going to give us 2.5 seven six million subtract that here from the cost of three point eight million we're going to get a carrying value here in 2012 of one million two hundred twenty four thousand then we just simply subtract out less the salvage value and that hasn't changed it's one hundred twenty thousand going to give us our uh, new amount here of one, uh, book value here or our book value less our salvage value one million one hundred and four thousand dollars so now we just take our remaining useful life remember we originally estimated here to be um, uh, let's go 40 years here but we revised it up here to 60 years here but we've used 28 or we've used it here for 28 years and that was that amount of depreciation that we already charged. So what we're going to have here is just the difference here. The new estimate of 60 years here less the 28 years used here is going to give us a remaining useful life here of 32 years. So what we simply do um, now for our revised annual depreciation again on our building we just take the book value here that we had minus the salvage value and that's this hundred and one million one hundred four thousand divided by the remaining life here of 32 years here it's going to give us our annual depreciation on our building of thirty four thousand five hundred dollars now remember the sixty years here was our uh, revised estimated life we increased it from forty years here to sixty years but we also used 28 years on this building. So uh, this is how we calculate our new revised annual depreciation. And then the same thing for the uh, annual depreciation on our addition here. We just take its original, for its book value here, we take original cost less the accumulated depreciation here uh, for, uh, for the first um, 
18 years here. So we're again, we're revising it here at 2012. So remember, we had a depreciation here of 30,000 per year here times 18 years is going to give us 540,000. So that's subtracting that here from our uh, cost here of $940,000 is going to give us our book value here of 400,000. And then we just simply subtract out our uh, salvage value that hasn't changed here uh, of 40,000. And then our the amount here is going to be $360,000 book value here and 2012 less its salvage value gives us $360,000. And then again we just have to look at the remaining useful life here on this edition. Remember we originally estimated here at 30 years but now we revised it to 50 years. But we used 18 years of that up here so what remaining useful life would we'd have here with our new estimate here is the 18 years here used. I subtract that here from the new 50 years here of the new estimate is again going to give us 32 years here of remaining useful life or depreciation. So all we would do is take again our book value here uh, or less our salvage value divided by the remaining useful life here 32 years or in this case it will be 360,000 divided by 32 years is going to give us $11,250 um, per year here depreciation. So we've calculated both the revised annual depreciation here for this building of $34,500 and also the revised annual depreciation for our addition here $11,250. So the total amount here of our annual depreciation for this building here in addition is just simply the amounts here are $34,500 for the building plus the revised amount here for our addition of $11,250 is going to give us $45,000 seven hundred and fifty dollars uh, per year here for the remaining life here of the 32 years remaining since both uh, cases here we just equated it we both of them had 32 years here remaining in life so we could just add the new annual depreciation amount here for both cases to come up the total amount here for our remain our remaining depreciation here for the remaining uh, per year here for the remaining life of 32 years Okay, so let's just go through this one more time here just to look at our example here. Um, when we're calculating our revised annual depreciations, uh, in whatever we have here, we have to determine our accumulated depreciation that we had up to the date of that revision and then taking that accumulated depreciation from the original cost here we're going to come up with the new book value and then if there is any salvage value you'd have to subtract that out here to determine the new uh, book value here less its salvage value and then you just simply de divide that here by whatever remaining years you have so um, you have to look at how many years you had used it here up to the point here of your um, revision date here and then you have to compare that to your new estimate here. So the difference between the amount used and your new estimated life in this case is going to give you your remaining years and you sub just divide that into well, whatever balance you're sitting here between your current book value here less any salvage value divide your remaining years into that amount that's going to give you your annual revised depreciation for whatever asset you're looking at in this case we had our building and we had our addition and we just since they had the same commonality here in the remaining years here uh, we were able to add them together here to come up with our remaining depreciation for both the building and addition here for the total remaining years here of 32 years of its life.